What's up guys, it's your boy Desmond with The Lens. Now today we're going to be talking about another Baltimore location under the name of Canton Water Park. Now, this is a big area, it's nice, it's beautiful. You know, typically when you type it into Google, it'll take you directly there. This is the entire area of the park. Most people start off at this location, but due to parking, I always start off over here. And then I'll follow this nice little path and figure out which part of the park do I want to start my shoot at. Now, I'm going to let some B-roll go. It's going to show you a whole walkthrough of the park. While this is going, though, I'm going to give you my rating. So I actually give this park a three and a half out of five stars. Now, here's why. It is really safe. There's always somebody there. It's in a nice neighborhood. It's great. There are no restrictions. You can shoot there whenever. You don't need no permits. You don't need no permission. You don't need no paperwork. Um, it's really easy for you to get to. There's typically plenty of parking. Um, if you get too far away, there's going to have to be paid parking, but there's still parking nonetheless. Um, there's nice wildlife. As you see, I have geese all over this area. Sorry for the shaking. It was a very windy day, and I just could not get any of the shaking out of me using this gimbal. Now, it is not consistent. It looks different all depending on each season. From the rainy season to spring to autumn to winter, it looks different. Um, it has a lot of potential where there's different areas of this one park that you can shoot at that will give you a whole different vibe. You can start off at one half of it and you go to the other half and you'll have hundreds of different types of photos. Now, there is an issue with crowds. This is a really public place. A lot of people go here. They go here to walk their dogs and other things and like events of that nature. But because of that, it's also trash all over the place. And they have their own people to come and clean up the trash once a week. However, if you're directly right before, then you might, this might be like, a, this might look like a trashy park. But it's a really clean park. As you can see, as I walk past, I'm passing by a lot of people. There are dog walkers, there are people with their pets all over the area. People running, people biking. This is also one of the stops for the the city water taxi that you'll see coming up as I get closer to the water. Now, the water itself looks pretty depending on how you shoot it. Shooting directly at it, you might end up with green murky water. However, if you shoot kind of at an angle making it just the background, it'll look bluer and then in post, you can change that color however you like and it'll be much better than how it looks just straight out. As you can see, plenty of people with dogs, all depending on what time of day is how thick the crowd is going to be. Like no matter what, there's going to be at least 15 to 20 people there. The only, di the only difference is, are you there during a slow time where they're all kind of scattered ab about so that they're not all in your shot of where you want to shoot at? Or... Is this a busy time where there's like hundreds of people just walking, passing by? There's plenty of things for you to shoot with. Trees, uh, open grassland areas, poles, benches, everything. Like this is like a real good spot. Just understand when you go here, you are not going to have any privacy. People are going to be walking past you all the time. Um... You know, sometimes they'll, say, they'll, they'll wait for you to finish your shoot or take a shot and then they'll try to walk past. Sometimes they'll just walk right through without a care in the world. It's all depending on how they feel on that day. And because of how public a place this is, you can't really do anything about it. You just got to kind of shoot around it. But if you guys found this video informative, you know, make sure you take the time to drop a like and subscribe. If you know any spots in Baltimore that you want to be reviewed, leave those in the comments. I read them, I go through them, I respond to them. Maybe your spot will be added onto this list, and when we get to your spot, I'll definitely do a shout out. 